Okay, so welcome to this video at Mary Jo at Bobbitt Wellness Academy. And this is Indian Head Massage and how to translate the Indian Head Massage, which traditionally has been done on a chair onto the massage table. So if you have a massage table, of course, it's always nice for the client to lay down so that you don't have to support them all the time and you can just focus on the actual massage. So the same as on the chair, we're going to take three deep breaths. I'm going to invite my client to take a nice deep breath, breathe in. And then I'm just going to rock the shoulders back a little bit. Breathe in. That's it. See that expansion of the breath and exhale. And just making sure that your own breath doesn't go down too much onto the face. Breathing in. Take your own head over to the side. And... Good. So again, just switching on that parasympathetic nervous system and the body knows time to relax and unwind and receive this beautiful massage. So first we're going to use some oil while we're on the table. Be able to glide around easier. So I'm just using coconut oil. And cover just the upper arms, a little bit underneath the back, around the shoulders. A little bit more because I'm going to go in underneath. So my first move is going to go in underneath either side of the spine. So take a nice deep breath. And then I'm going to bring my fingers in and glide up either side. So on the chair we did a thumb walk. Now I'm just doing the fingers. So the spine is right in between and I'm dragging up or I'm just taking a moment to add some pressure up in between the vertebrae. So I'm going to do that again. So take a nice deep breath as I glide in underneath. That's it. So I'm stepping up and then putting some pressure either side of the spine, not on the spine, but either side into those muscles. Gliding all the way up into the neck. Good. So we're not going to do the friction one. We're just going to do that one. And then I'm going to come to the side. I'm going to do the one on the shoulders, so the palm to the fingers. So this time the palm is at the front and the fingers at the back. When your client is on the chair, it's going to be the other way around. Palm to the fingers. And then fingers back to the palm. A nice petrified squeeze, kneading through the muscles. three times on the shoulder and then I'm going to go up to the neck so rather than changing side on the table we'll stick to the same side and I'm going to do the neck and you can just use your hand to start to tilt your client's head over to the side So that SCM, sternocleidomastoid muscle, pick band of muscle there. So my palm starts just, just in front of it, glides over it to the back. And then fingers, and then I clamp down, stabilize the palm just in front of it, take the fingers around 
to the pen. Nice pressure. Mm. Yeah. The last one on this side. Okay. And then I'm going to take myself over to the other side. So to finish off on this side, I'm going to do the arm as well. Or actually, no, I'll do the neck first, and then we'll come to the arm. It's the same idea on the other side. So because we've got the oil on the body, of course, it's easier to glide through the muscles. So just make sure you don't put too much oil on either, otherwise you can't really get a grip. So I want to be able to kind of grip through the muscles. So there's a bit of resistance that I'm moving through. So we're not using the oil, we're using the oil of the body to glide through. So we've done the shoulder three times, now I'm going to come up to the neck. Feel that nice chunky SCM muscle. And the last one. Okay, and before I leave this side, I'll just go back to the arm, or you can do the arm straight after the neck. My client has had a bit of a bike accident. <laughs> She's got some nice tattoos. Mm. So I'm squeezing the palm towards the fingers and then the fingers back towards the palm. So you do that three times. I'm just kind of squeezing through the, the traps and the biceps. You might even go up to the deltoid. And I'm going to just do the other arm as well. So it's the same kneading movement that we did on the shoulder and the neck, the same kind of idea. You're just doing the two hands together and away from each other. Okay, beautiful. So now we've done the, the back, the arms and the neck. So now we're going to come into the the crown, so you can either sit on a chair. Perhaps on this occasion, I'm going to sit on the chair. And just be aware if your client 
is happy with oil in the hair. If not, just clean the oil from your hands. How about you? Are you happy oiling my hands a little bit? Are you good for without? You good? Coconut oil, good for the hair. Yeah. So I'm gonna just um, take the head over to the side. So you can either ask your client to take the head over to the left or you can get your hands in underneath and I'll move the head myself. So I've got the, I'm holding her head in one hand and then we're gonna do those friction movements around the ear. If it feels appropriate. And you know, it usually is quite a fast, vigorous movement. However, if you feel like your client just needs to relax, you could always just do, you know, something a little bit slower or you could skip this one altogether. Traditionally in India, this would be quite a strong, vigorous massage move. And rather than taking the head back and forth, we're going to move on to the second move. So we're going to do two moves either side. So this is the palm. We're going to do one, two, three. So one, two, three. 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 So I'm doing a second line. So again, I've got the, I can feel the scalp underneath my hand. And third line. Two, three. Two, three. So it is a bit of an interesting angle when you're doing it on the table. So I'm going to bring the hand in under and tilt over to the other side. Or you can just ask your client to come over to the other side. Okay. So we'll go back to our C. Little friction movements around the ear. And then one, two, three, the base of the palm, feeling that scalp move. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And third one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. And we'll do some Suli movements as well. So we've done those two. Good. So now instead of the, I mean, you can do a little bit of the tapping, little dancing fingers, or it might be just nicer just to do some finger pressures and just create a nice little pattern around the head to wherever you can go. And then we'll go into some hair pulling. So it's nice just to pick up along the hairline. Just give a little tug, but remember there's a fine line between pleasure and pain. So we want to move the follicle, but not create too much discomfort. So you can always, the way to tell if it's too much discomfort, you'll see your client's face. Something, something will be a giveaway tell. Give away a telltale, a little grimace. So we'll gather up all the hair since we have nice long hair here. And we're gonna twist into a little pony. And then I'm gonna put one hand, so I'll ask you to take a nice deep breath. And on the exhale, I'm gonna twist a bit more. And this hand is pressing into the forehead, or into the crown. And I'm gonna go the other way. So it is quite a tight twist, but again, it's a so inhale and exhale on that exhale. So a little twist, a little twist, a release, a little twist, a little release, a little twist. Good. And then I'm just going to continue on that hair pulling. Just make sure I've got everywhere covered. And get on underneath as well. Just get my hands in underneath. Have a little squeeze. Just cover as much as you can which is you're comfortable with. Just 
be careful not to pull any hair. Good. We do some soothing. And then we'll do our, our little C's. So this is a nice one to do on the table. So now we can't go all the way down the head, but what we'll do instead is we'll make two extra lines. Either side and one over the other side. And if you like, you could do that again. Down the middle. Over to the side. Good. Okay, so another one is the shampooing. So that's the tops of the fingers this time. Moving the scalp underneath into these circles. So I'm pressing the scalp is coming with me. And this is always a nice one to add in, even just to your regular massage, the end of a regular massage, just to cover the whole head and then to go under, let's get my hands in under, do some nice circles underneath. Move back in under where I can't normally get to as easily. So I'm supporting the head with my fingers and hands as well, so it's off the, the pillow a bit. Just a little bit, and then I can lean back down once I've moved through that area. And then soothing again. I'm going to go back in underneath there and I'm going to put my fingers in underneath this little ledge. So take a nice deep breath and then I'm going to tilt the head back towards me. That's it. And then on the exhale I'm going to pull back towards me. Good. So on the inhale I'm dropping my fingers in under the occiput area and then lengthening, so create more length. One more, inhale. That always feels pretty yummy. Lengthening, <laughs> client agrees. <laughs> Good. Okay, and then the last one is the two fingers. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and just know that those two fingers are lining up together. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so if you've just booked a half hour session, you may drop one or two of these, or if you've got a longer session, you can just slow it down and just take it nice and easy. Just be mindful of your own breath as well. Beautiful choir out here, the birds. So I'm going to leave it there on that side and then take my client's head over the other side.
Yes, I'm going to leave it there. We've already covered the head with the shampooing finger, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to move on to the face, which is nice and easy to do from here. So I'll just come to the edge of the eyebrows and just do some nice circles all the way from the eyebrows to the hairline. Step one finger and then the other. Do that a second time. Yeah, and then for the third time, we'll do three fingers and three fingers. So do the circles together. See some nice gliding strokes through the center. And then we'll bring our index finger in underneath the little socket underneath the eye. Sinus point, press it in under and roll the thumb, or the thumb rolls the skin towards the eye socket. Nice bit of pressure underneath the eye socket, and then the thumb rolls that upper skin. Lifting one finger and then the other, keeping that nice connection. And a third time. And the temples. Nice circles around the temples. And I'm going to take the thumb down either side of the nose and follow that along to get the cheekbone. And then you can use your thumb or you may prefer to use the index finger. Just get underneath that cheekbone, a little bit of pressure underneath, do some nice circles around the jawbone. Pressure on the chin, one, two, three. You can take it up to the ears, and then we'll just get the earlobes. So we're just pressing, so we do some nice circles. And just work around the ears if the earrings are still on, or ask your client to take them off, if it's easy enough for them to do. But if I see a client getting a bit stressed, taking off jewellery or concerned, I'll just say I'll work, I'll work around it. It's not a big deal. Good, and then we're finished with some soothing strokes. Across the face, all the way back to the ear, from the chin up to the ear, and then from the nose down to the temples, bringing the palms together over the forehead. And do that again, so palms come together either side of the nose, and just glide down over the face. Chin. You can bring it up in a little squeeze on the lobe of the ear. The cheeks coming down to the temples and then the forehead. And just the last nice stroke. 
Oh, you can do some nice palm on palm. Coming up through the middle. All the way to the top of the crown. Okay, and then we're going to finish with a nice chakra balancing. So we can bring one hand. So I'm just going to let my client know. So I'm just going to do some energy balancing to finish with. So I'm holding the intention to balance all the chakras, the crown, third eye. You may feel some heat or tingling or coolness. You may get some colors or not. Just holding the intention. You can do one hand on top of the other and just feel into each energy center as you go along. You may notice a difference as you go down. Just holding that intention. And the base. So we've got the crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and the base chakra. And then we can go all the way down to the legs and take a nice deep breath. And bring it all the way down. The client knows that we're finished. All the way back to the feet. A little squeeze on the toes just to bring it back some sense of awareness into the feet, to groundedness. And we are complete. Mm. That is our bed Indian head massage. Mm. How was that, Miss Shara? I almost fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it was beautiful. Very soothing, nurturing. Mm. Yeah.